The DNA sample is first visualized by a tedium bromide stained agarose gel electrophoresis in order to visualize and identify the desired fragment to be purified. Electrophoresis should proceed until fragments are well separated and their size can be precisely determined. Following electrophoresis, the desired fragment is neatly excised from the gel using a brand new razor blade and taking care to trim the gel slice as close as possible to the band of interest. This procedure should be performed with appropriate protection from UV light and wearing gloves. After filling the electrolyter with the appropriate burning buffer and taking care not to spill it over the surface of the middle plateau, the gel slice is placed inside one of the wells, as close as possible to the V-channel. There should be no bubbles inside the V-channel. This can be avoided by flushing the channel with buffer to remove any trapped air. Then, 100 microliters of the high salt barrier are added carefully to the V-channel from the side proximal to the well. The chamber is then closed and the electrodes connected to the power source to begin electrolution at 100 to 120 volts. You may be thinking you'd be better off investing only 10 minutes of your precious time with a kit. However, in spite of the time consumed in this process, you will be able to control many of the variables that will allow you to purify a wider range of samples, varying in nature, sizes and sources.